Okie dokie. trailer where everything will go flying On a new cordless drill set. Two batteries. So behind me here. Like I said. For the amount that I paid for this material, you should see how warped and twisted some of these 2x4s are. It's, it's retarded. Like, I'm expected to use that as a joist. Not only does it turn one way, it turns the other way. Like, it's ridiculous. this where it starts to twist down there I'll take that four feet off of it so that'll work out Okay, so just as I was setting some stuff up out here, uh, Amazon Pure Later guy came. I haven't opened this, but I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I think it's the tool that goes with the drill set. Uh, let me open this and find out. Because I don't have any battery operated tools, that's why I bought that drill set. Like I've wanted one for a long time, I just, I had money set aside for some tools, but uh, this is the perfect project for it, right? I got the drill and an impact driver for taking off lug nuts as a combo. They came together with the two batteries. Now I ordered this Sawzall, so I also ordered the blades for it. This was like 40 some bucks. But then I ordered this compact Sawzall, which is the same as the drill. So it's the tool only, it doesn't come with any batteries. So I only have the two little batteries that came with the drill. So I don't know how long this will run on those batteries. I'm gonna find out because the batteries for two of them is like $200. So roughly a hundred bucks a piece, uh, getting expensive. So for these three tools, this is how crazy it was, $500. 
So hopefully these last 20 years. I don't know how good these batteries are, but I'm also gonna find out how well this cuts through the two by fours because that's what I bought it for so that I'm not out here hand bombing it. Although I did bring out a saw with me. I mean, this is supposed to save me a little bit of time. It's not saving my wallet anything, that's for sure. The one complaint I did read online after I purchased this was that apparently it vibrates like a mofo. And for those of you older folks that don't speak the lingo, a mofo is like the guy on the disco that used to do the vibration. I'm gonna slide a battery in right now and just make sure it fits. Actually, I got one right here. Okay, easy peasy. Doesn't seem to vibrate that bad, but maybe when you're in some wood. Alright, so I'm like a kid digging in the sand pit. I had to raise that end, lower the far end, I'm just going to check it again. It takes so much time to get this right. and a quarter. See, that quarter inch could throw a person off, but whatever.
I can lift this by myself. It's getting it over my head that it'll be a problem. At the back here at five feet, it's gonna be hard enough. There's no way I'm gonna do that 10 feet. Here comes my helper just in time. Are you all enthused? This is about that math again. Mathing, or is the math I don't know, you're going to tell me. Take this, butt it up against the post that's going up and down, and tell me how much of an overhang that is. 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter? Moth quarter of an inch? <laughs> Go measure that side, see if we're still mathing it. See if it's 16 and a quarter or if it's 16. 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter, both sides. <laughs> it's like I planned it that way. You just made the same mistake on both sides. No, it's only off a quarter of an inch because the wood's probably not perfectly even. Yeah, it wouldn't be me. It wouldn't be my measurement. I like my new tools, they work pretty good. I'm happy with them from what I used them for today.